two days of the wedding rituals of Kanika. And still we went ahead and did the satsang. But I think yesterday was too tight. <laughs> Schedule everybody was very tired. But then the exams are coming up and the team which is recording here are not professionals. <laughs> they are our ashramites. All are in the degree studying in the for the undergraduation courses. So they have already put the gun into my head and told till April second week we will not be available. So I was forced to go back to the old boys association. <laughs> Kavita and team. So they are now here. We'll record the eleventh story from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones of the Gateless Gate, written by Paul Reps. Joshu examines a monk in meditation. Joshu went to a place where a monk had retired to meditate and asked him, What is, is what? The monk raised his fist. Joshu replied, Ships cannot remain where the water is too shallow. And he left. A few days later, Joshu went again to visit the monk and asked the same question. The monk answered the same way. Joshu said, well given, well taken, well killed, well saved, and he bowed to the monk. <laughs> the heading itself says, Joshua examines the monk in meditation. To examine a monk, it is not a hospital where the doctors examine you to find out whether your heart is beating, whether you are dead or alive. <laughs> they need a machine to find out whether you are dead or alive, whether your pulse is working, <laughs> whether there is a heartbeat, but this is a different. Joshua examines a monk in meditation. Meditation is like the person goes to the bed. Before he goes to meditation, before he goes to the bed, before he goes to his job, before he leaves his house, he has to do his homework. Like we have been taught. Yes. And here everybody in Rakham school practices very hard. So when the examination comes, they will not even open the book. The answer flows without thinking, it strikes without thinking. But if you have not practiced before your examination, before you leave your house, before you go to take your bath, before you go to take, uh, retire to sleep, then dreams follow you, bad dreams follow you. You fall sick in your bed. You are considered a pariah in the society. When you leave the house, if you have not practiced a Sanskrit, a Joshua examines a monk in meditation. Otherwise, you don't need another person to examine you to find out. Otherwise, the whole world will examine you in your workplace. The dreams, bad dreams examine you in your bed. In the examination center, the Individuators will be examining you whether you are copying, whether you are a robber or not. Joshua examines a monk and man. Please try to understand this. You have to practice. When you practice every day, your Sanskriti, your culture, that is your homework before you go to a, your examination center, you have practiced a thousand times. Before you go to a job, you have made sure that you made your physical body and the mental body strong by doing your pranayama, your asanas, your warming up exercise, stretching exercise. You have practiced your yoga therapy. You are a doctor, a walking doctor. Like when I asked my Japanese friend, Ono Chan, beauty parlor? She said, beauty parlor? I said, you people don't go to beauty parlor? She asked me, what is beauty parlor? I said, in India, all my... Girl, children go to the beauty parlor, ladies go to beauty parlor. She asked, what is that? I said, this Japan, I thought it's a, such a developed country. 
and they are asking what is beauty parlor. So one day when Vannacham went to take bath, I slowly opened the bag and I was shocked. It was a mobile walk beauty parlor. Inside the bag, full of beauty tips. <laughs> 24 bar 7, you have to be make sure that you are a walking beauty parlor. Joshua went to a place where a monk had retired to meditate and asked him, what is is what? And the monk raised his fist. You are going to examine a monk who is retiring from me before he is going to meditate. Means, I am not going to tell they are going to sit in the cross leg and then close the eyes. Meditation means, can it be karma yoga, any job. But meditation is one thing that they empty the mind. Total mind, there is no rich and the poor, black and the white. There is no God in the devil. So examining what is, is what. And if the monk is replied, that means he still carries dirt in his brain, he, in a mind, he cannot meditate, he cannot do a job. Wherever you go, you should be a karma yogi. When a girl goes to the husband's house, she becomes a karma yogi. She marries with the husband and nothing else exists. She and the husband's people. When the husband comes to the wife's house, he, he just marries with the wife's house. My father and mother is like that. When the students go to school, the students melt with the teacher. And student and teacher becomes one subject, become one. the house stops for a second. That's why they have been taught when you enter any house. Before you enter the house from the office, leave your slippers and mind outside your door. The monk raised his fist, it seems. Joshua went to a place where a monk has retired to meditate. Retired to meditate before you go. And asked him, what is, is what? The question has got no, no meaning. You leave it. It is irrelevant. It doesn't go into your head because you become empty without your language. You do not want to interpret the language. You do not want to examine the language. So where is the answer coming? Hmm. You are not getting, going to remote control. Now the monk is examining human. Somebody you are allowing the invigilator to remote control you. The moment you see the invigilator start shivering like the um, robber sees the police. Because he's a robber means he is not practiced. If he practices strong, he do not have to rob.